I think Denny and I have gotten along extremely well ever since he was born. Uh, as we got into the banking business, when Denny came in, it fit right in, and uh, he learned what he could from me, and now I'm learning from him. Well, first of all, I think his uh, impact when he was running the bank was profound in that it was run safely and he resisted calls to do things that were more aggressive that would have gotten, I think, the community into trouble and uh, had a very strong uh, will and a strong uh, understanding of what was right and wrong. More than that, both he and Dale created a, an influence on the organization from a family perspective that continues to this day. The stability that having family influence in a, in a business that's become larger is, uh, is incredibly important to maintaining the culture and how we uh, connect with communities and as a result how we continue to grow and, and uh, do all the great work that we do. We're today, I think, uh, the fifth largest Florida-based uh, organization uh, in the state. We're also unusual in that they're, we're, we're publicly traded. Uh, that uh, gives us access to capital so that we can grow. And, you know, when you look back at our founding in the 1920s, I think we we made $2,000 of profit in the first year that we were uh, operating. Uh, this year we'll make uh, $45 million or so. As I look ahead, uh, I see incredible opportunity for us. As, as you may not know, we've done a lot of work in rethinking how we come to market in a, in a digital world, and uh, that has been something that all of us as a team have been working on. Uh, uh, all 800 of us uh, over the last uh, particularly four or five years uh, that uh, take us into a growth mode that I think is going to be uh, incredibly exciting uh, over the next uh, several years. So great time to be here at Seacoast. My dad and Denny's granddad, Manny, says uh, run a good bank and you have a good community. And I think that's, that's proven.